Hey everybody, this is John Register with your Thursday Inspired Thought. Happy Thursday, everyone. You know, there are legends in our life um, that just come across every once in a while that inspire us beyond measure. And the United States, let alone the world, has lost one of those great enthusiasts, those great inspirers. His name was Pete Isaacs, a uh, phenomenal, phenomenal man. Colonel in the United States Army, uh, and I act as the chief operating officer for the Community and Family Support Center, which houses all morale, welfare, and recreation activities for the United States Army. So 257 uh, groups that make the Army run on the installation to the tune of $1.3 billion. That's B with a B, right? And he just took care of soldiers and their families. In fact, I owe a great debt, a, a, a debt of gratitude to him because he took care of this soldier and his family after I lost my leg. He offered me an opportunity to expand on some of my knowledge, my skills, and my abilities, not only as a soldier, but as a graduate of the University of Arkansas, and found me a, a place with inside of the Army's world-class athlete program, one of those MWR activities. But he, he just wasn't a compassionate man. He was a humorist. And everything that he looked at was through the lens of this kind of weird humor that he had. The first time I got a chance to know him was at a community and family support center picnic, and they were having the best legs contest. Each contestant would line up behind these um, a sheet, and they would raise the sheet up, and everybody got a chance to vote on the best legs, male legs. I'm like, this is a kind of a weird organization. And this guy with the knobby knees and the hairy legs won the contest. And he was just walking around with his royal scepter, talking about I'm the king. And it was the most hilarious thing that I'd ever seen. Having fun at work. He taught us to have fun even while we were getting our jobs done. Who are those inspirational people in your lives? Who are the ones that you're going to miss the most when they pass on and move on? And what legacy have they left for you? Well, Pete Isaacs, he was a legacy. He was an inspiration to me. And even as he has done that, he has taught me to go for everything that I've had and to make the best of each moment that I've had. So now you go forth and inspire your world. See you later, Pete. We love you.